Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the organization's Board of Trustees meeting. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of RCO, for his support to the organization's philanthropic and humanitarian work and to the orphans, widows and all underprivileged people in the kingdom to provide a decent life for all. He hailed the humanitarian role of His Majesty towards brotherly and friendly countries, commending the support RCO receives from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the members of the RCO Board of Trustees, Executive Administration, and all its affiliates for their efforts. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain has taken important steps that enabled it to hold high ranks globally in the philanthropic and humanitarian fields. His Highness directed to continue to work in line with His Majesty's visions and aspirations and to take important steps to implement His Majesty's directives to continue humanitarian work and provide exceptional and comprehensive care to orphans, widows and all categories of the society who require it. The Secretary General of RCO, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, lauded His Majesty's support to RCO and hailed His Highness's leading efforts in philanthropic work through his follow-up on strategic plans and projects implemented by the organization in all fields. Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended the conclusion ceremony of the 2019 World Entrepreneurship Investment Forum, which is being held in line with the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The forum was held under the theme Investing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution, Innovation and Digital Economy. His Highness Sheikh Faisal hailed the success of the event and its role in enhancing the status of the kingdom and attracting investments. He said that this forum gathers economic and investment figures and enhances multilateral relations and goes in line with the Economic Vision 2030. He added that the forum also sheds light on the role of Arab youth in the small and medium-sized enterprises who are transforming towards digital economy. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the BCCI Chairman for organizing the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference and praised the cooperation and coordination of the Arab Chambers of the Arab League as well as the UNIDO in addition to the wide participation the event witnessed. A number of speeches were delivered at the end of the event where speakers expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for hosting this event and praised the achievements in Bahrain in all fields. In the three days event, uh, the Arab Investor Summit and the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum is the first time that we bring entrepreneurs and investors together because we want them to engage in sharing experience and, and bringing investment together. Uh, today was the, was the closing ceremony attended um, by Dr. Ahmed Abul Ghayt, the Secretary General of the uh, Arab League. And we had received a statement from the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Guterres, uh, addressing the WEF, the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum. So, and we also have read the, the Manama Declaration 3, which we will forward it to the General Assembly. There were 13 calls to the General Assembly on how we support the ecosystem for innovation and entrepreneurship. Of course, all of this act activity is part of the Bahrain model which we work from Bahrain to more than 52 countries, but with, within the UN frame. But this year, uh, WEF 2019 focused on the Arab region and Sub-Saharan Africa on issues related on job creation, innovation, and entrepreneurship. The most important element in this uh, international uh, uh, entrepreneur investment forum is that it has gained the pace of sustainability. This is the third year it is held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And I noticed from the first session till now the huge progress in terms of turnout, in terms of substance, in terms of interest. And I think this is a huge uh, event that should be further sustained. And I can see that women and men from different parts of the world are coming here to bring in their expertise and they are tapping into this function for further uh, uh, expertise, for further consultancy, for further exchange, and the most important event in it 
is that we saw young people coming with their innovations from different parts of the world, exhibiting it here in Bahrain, and then exchanging those ideas with big players in industry, technology, and innovation, and this is the future. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, InvestCorp opened its Investors Conference. The conference featured an agenda of stimulating discussions led by a formidable lineup of speakers who shared their unique insights into an array of topics. Over 250 investors from the GCC were amongst the participants, as well as speakers from the US, Europe, India, China, and Indonesia. InvestCorp's executive chairman, Mohammed Al Ardi, highlighted the key milestones delivered by the firm over the past year and the notable progress it has made in implementing its growth strategy against the backdrop of global uncertainties. The president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the second session of the World Tolerance Summit in Dubai under the patronage of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, under the theme Prospering from Pluralism, Embracing Diversity Through Innovation and Collaboration. The summit witnessed a participation of around 3,000 international leaders, experts, and government officials. BSEA president noted that the communities are facing many challenges that pose a real threat to cultural identity. She affirmed that the protection of culture builds strong and impactful communities that can contribute to bringing peace in, on all levels. She also noted Bahrain's efforts to protect heritage and civilization sites in cooperation with all international institutions concerned. She noted that it has been hosting the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage since 2012, which had a significant contribution in the protection of important sites in a number of Arab countries that are affected by current events.